שלום, שלום, שלום. Welcome to Bible Learners Corner. We thank our God for keeping us till this day. Today is the 18th of September, the year 2022. If a person dies, shall they live again? The world is so much worried uh, following the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, who passed away a few days ago. Her burial is on the 19th of September, the year 2022. People need to be anxious for nothing, as the Bible warns us. We need not to be anxious for anything. We need to be anxious for nothing. The book of Philippians, uh, chapter 4, reading through the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 4, starting from verse 1, the Holy Bible says, uh, Therefore, my beloved, and longed for brethren, my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore you, dear, and I implore Synthic to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Apostle Paul, writing to the Philippians, uh, talking of uh, how people need to think the thoughts, having the thoughts, and people need to rejoice in the Lord always. As Paul continued to say, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. We therefore need to rejoice in the Lord and not to worry of what is happening in this temporary life under the sun. This is a life journey that is soon coming to an end. And whatever things that we see in the world happening, these are things that are going to continue appearing every second, every minute, every hour, every day. As long as we are still in this uh, temporary life under the sun, people need to seek walking on the way that will lead them to eternal the kingdom of God in heaven. As Jesus said, People need to seek first God's kingdom in heaven and his righteousness. Therefore, the world needs to know that we are living in the last days and our Lord Jesus Christ's coming is near. And when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, there shall be no more death, no more worry, no more sorrows. People who are prepared to move into God's eternal kingdom in heaven as they are walking through this temporary life under the sun. And if someone dies today or tomorrow, they shall go to God's eternal kingdom in heaven. That's why we need to know that every person has been brought into this world for a purpose. And we need to discover the purpose for which we are existing to fulfill the purpose before we depart from this life. Therefore, we need to seek the guiding of the Holy Spirit to guide us, to teach us, and to help us understand the truth, to accept the truth, to become set free. And as we rejoice in the Lord always, we don't have to worry. We should be anxious for nothing. Therefore, 
we need to let our gentleness be known to all men. And the Lord is at hand. As Apostle Paul says of the book of Philippians chapter 4, in verse 5, let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. In verse 6, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, we need to let our requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. We therefore need to meditate on these things. Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, this do and the God of peace will be with you. It's Apostle Paul talking to the Philippians in the Philippians church. We therefore need to walk in this life that is the temporary, the life under the heavens, the life under the sun. And as we are still existing, God has kept us till this day for a purpose, and whoever depart from this world, if they have become born again, believing in Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life, they already have that eternal life in Christ Jesus. Even if someone dies today, tomorrow, they already have that a gift of eternal life that has been given to every person that is willing to accept that free gift. And on that day of resurrection, they shall receive their reward. Entering God's eternal kingdom in heaven. And if someone departs from this life without having accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior of their life, they shall receive the reward of eternal separation from God, who is the Father of the living and not the Father of the dead. Therefore, we need to seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ believing in his death, his burial, and resurrection, every person becomes justified by faith, becoming the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, someone, even if they die, they already have eternal life. On that day of resurrection, they shall receive a glorified body that will be in God's eternal kingdom in heaven. 
therefore need to walk on the narrow way on the right path that leads us to the narrow gate that we need to enter through into God's kingdom in heaven. And Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. We need to accept the truth to become saved. And as we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, He is the one who has provided us with the free gift of eternal life in God's kingdom. Let us therefore be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We have already talked of uh, if a man dies, if a person dies, shall they live again? We have shared so many messages talking about if a person dies in this temporary life, what happens? Where do they go after they depart? Because every person, even if they die, there is a time when there shall be the day of resurrection. And on that day of resurrection, whoever that has accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life, they shall have a glorified body. Therefore, need to repent today, turn away from our wicked ways, seek the face of the Lord, and become set free from captivity, to become set free from death, and move into life. We thank you for listening to today's discussion. Stay blessed and Shalom.